All right, it's time for the Legal Minute now with Paul Harding from Martin Harding and Mazzotti at 1-800-LAW-1010. Good morning, Paul. Good morning, Mike. Good morning, Mary. Good morning. Hold on, I got a text I have to do. You got a text over there? Yeah. yeah. We got a legal question for you about texting, Paul. Uh, is is yeah. Are they trying to make it illegal to text and do morning radio at the same time? <laughs> Yeah, you're chewing gum at the same time. <laughs> Again, they throw that third thing in there. I would say absolutely not. Yeah. Well, the guy in New Jersey, a lawmaker, wants to make it illegal to walk and text. You know, I, it was such a bizarre story that I just had to dig into it a little bit. And I found that in, in Utah, there's a university, Utah State University, that has a, a texting lane when you walk through campus. So they have it designated a texting walking lane. Yeah. Uh, bizarre. Yeah. You know, it existed. Um, and yeah, this is the first statute of its kind to be proposed nationally. And, you know, I, I guess I equate it somewhat to jaywalking. That's that what we're, yeah, Mary was saying, like jaywalking, yeah, right? That's what I was thinking, yeah. too. Yeah, because, you know, jaywalking, you're just consciously walking when you're, not, when you're not supposed to. Here, they're saying, no, you could hurt someone else or yourself. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's maybe gone a little too far. It, it does sound like one of those statutes that we just don't need. And Maybe it won't pick up much steam. Yeah, I know. I'm not sure how you could. I don't. I, it's confusing to me because if you are walking across the street, you're walking when it hopefully says you can walk. What you're doing is really nobody's business. Well, and and I don't know that the statute didn't even kind of violate the rule if you're just kind of walking on a sidewalk without any traffic control devices. I That's think right. They're really kind of looking at this saying, no, you are a danger to people when you're, te-. you know, the truth is, listen, you know, I probably had some weird texting moments myself, so I, I get it. No one's ever been hurt, but you just can't legislate everything away. That's what, right. you know, we talked about this on the radio and a lot of listeners were saying enough with the laws. Now, can I still read my Kindle while I cross the street? <laughs> <laughs> You know, again, the, 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 I guess the law will unfold as it unfolds. But no, that feels. Like, you're right. You say, "Well, I'm not texting. I, I'm just. I'm deeply involved with my Kindle." Right. So, yeah, I, I think it's a difficult statute to draft. I'll bet this legislature got lots of attention, uh, not only the state of New Jersey but nationally. And it might just end right there. Yeah, they, they're even talking about putting people in jail for 15, 15 days for it. I mean, that sounds that kind means. of. Do you think it was just an attention getter, and it's a waste of time? And the you know, it's just an attention well, getter. I, I, I kind of do, yeah. uh, but I've been wrong on these. There's some statutes on the book that that would just just spin your spin your head uh, if you read them. I mean, they don't really have a place in our society. And then, of course, the police look at this. Are they really going to enforce it? Yeah, do oh they want to deal with probably it? Probably more important things for them to deal Maybe with, huh? Fish to fry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. Hey, thanks for your take on things, Paul. Appreciate it, man. Okay, guys. Take care. Hey, have a good week. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks.